Hey, what's up guys? It's Larry B. Uh, recently I was having a conversation with a uh, viewer and he was basically going to install a fresh graphics card, a new graphics card. And he was asking how he should do that. Uh, and I basically suggested to him that he used a uh, display driver on the installer to uh, uninstall his old drivers. Um, now he wasn't sure how to do this. I kind of explained it to him the best I could, uh, you know, in the YouTube chat. And I kind of figured that it would work out better for me in the future if I just made a video and I could say, hey, if you have this problem, just go watch this video and this, this is what I'm talking about. Um, now, before we go over this, uh, the benefit of doing it like this over doing a, the more conventional methods is this will pretty much just erase all traces of your old driver so that you can start pretty much fresh whenever you even do a fresh driver install or you install a new graphics card. Uh, this is going to be especially important if you're going, like, say, installing like a AMD car and you already you had NVIDIA. Um, now, this will work with NVIDIA or AMD CP, uh, GPU. Excuse me. Uh, it's just that I have a NVIDIA GPU, so that's why I download. All right. So to start things off, you want to go and uh, download the driver you want to install. Uh, you want to do this before you do the rest of the process. You want to have this ready. I've already done that, so let's just go to the next part. Next, you're going to want to come over and search for DDU. Now, I will leave uh, links in the description below, though I do suggest that you make sure to find the latest version of everything you're looking for. Search DDU and come down to the second one here. This is its official website. Uh, it should have the newest version. Click on that and then uh, download whatever the latest version is. For this video, the latest version is 18.0.0.5. Uh, just make sure you're downloading the latest version of whatever you're downloading. All right. So now that you have that downloaded, it's time to come and uh, unzip Display Driver on the Installer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to unzip Display Driver on the Installer and I'm going to unzip it to its own folder. All right, once that's unzipped, I'm going to come over to it. I'm going to double click, click on Display Driver Uninstall Application. Okay, so now that's started up and you're going to get a warning when you first start it up. It says Display Driver Uninstaller has detected that you're not in safe mode. Um, basically, what safe mode is, is it disables all unnecessary stuff and just starts Windows pretty much as basic as possible. Um, and this allows for things like uninstalling drivers like, and really clearing everything out. So you're going to want to run this in safe mode. Um, now, you can do it the conventional method of just going and starting safe mode on your own. Or you can set display driver on installer to offer you the option to start in the safe mode. And that's what we're about to do right now. So just come click OK. Come up here to options. And down at the bottom, you'll see enable safe mode dialog. Click that. Close it. And now we're going to exit Display Driver on Installer. And when we start it back up, it's going to give us an option of restarting in safe mode. So double click on that again. Launch option. Uh, right now it's on normal. Come down to safe mode. Recommend it. Okay. And then after you have that selected, reboot, reboot to safe mode. All right. So it's restarting. I'll probably fast forward through this since this uh, X299 system does not start up quickly. That's good. All right, so we've restarted in safe mode. Um, now, what you're going to want to do here is come over to select device type. Um, for that, for us right now, it's going to be a GPU, and uh, then you can select the type of GPU. For me, that's going to be the video. So the next thing you're gonna do depends on what you're doing. If you're just doing a fresh driver install, then you wanna come over to clean and restart, highly recommended. So basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna run through the cleaning process and then restart your computer. However, if you're installing a new graphics driver, you don't want it to just, rest uh, excuse me, a new graphics card, you don't want it to just restart. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come to clean and do not restart, oh, excuse me, uh, Sorry, you want to come down to clean and shut down for installing a new graphics driver. For me, I'm just uh, installing a new driver. If you're installing a new graphics card, come down to that, uh, that option. So we're going to come over here and select clean and restart. And now it's going to go through its process.
All right, guys, so now we're back in Windows. Uh, the only thing left to do now is just to reinstall your old graphics driver. Uh, I'm not gonna cover that here since that's out of the scope of the video. Um, but yeah, so you basically reinstall your old graphics driver and uh, you should be good to go. All right, guys, so that's really all I have. Um, hopefully it helps a few people and uh, kind of better understands what I mean if I tell someone uh, to use display driver on installer. Um, and like I said, the real reason for using it is it just helps clear up old junk. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like it. It really helps motivate me and uh, keeps me you know, wanting to make these things. Uh, other than that, that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, peace. Good luck.